Having trouble in focusing on your customer queries? WS Desk is one such perfect ticketing system that will streamline all your processes under a single window. Now getting on to how to set up WS Desk, firstly you need to install the plugin from lextension.com and follow the basic procedures to install a plugin from lextensions.com. Once the plugin is installed, you can see that the plugin is rightly seen on your WooCommerce store. Go to WS Desk, Settings, to activate the plugin on your store. Firstly you need to obtain the API license key and the API license email and activate WS Desk. To activate the plugin, enter the API license key and API license email. You can find your API license key in the My Account page of L Extensions. Also, enter the respective email address you used for registering your account with L Extensions. If you have a multi-site, then you need to activate the plugin in the root site instead of the sub-site. Only then will you be able to receive plugin updates. Upon activation, you can see the clean and the neat interface that you are going to work on. WS Desk contains various tabs in the settings page. The settings dashboard consists of a list of vital configurations for setting up WS Desk, WordPress Help Desk plugin. You can see the following settings. General settings, the general settings are divided into two sections, basic and advanced. In basic settings, you can see. Default assignee, allows you to set a default assignee for the tickets. You can assign the tickets to agents based on ticket tags or choose the no assignee option to not set a default assignee. The list of options contains all the agents created in WS Desk. Default status, allows you to assign a default status whenever a new ticket is raised. The selection list contains all the default status as well as user created ones. You can create custom status in the ticket status section. Ticket raisers enables you to determine which users can raise tickets. There are three options available, one is all which allows both registered users as well as guest users to raise a ticket. The next is registered users which allows only WS Desk registered users to raise a ticket. The third one is the guest users, allows only guest users to raise a ticket. Agents ticket section which enable the setting to allow an agent to see other agents tickets in the ticket dashboard. Ticket rows helps in configuring the number of tickets displayed on the tickets dashboard. Auto assign tickets, enable the setting to automatically assign the tickets to replier, if the ticket is unassigned. Auto suggestion, allows you to enable auto suggestion feature for ticket raisers and agents. The auto-suggestion works based on the title, content, and tags of the articles. For customers, when the auto-suggestion feature is enabled, the customers can view suggested articles in the subject field of the support form, when they start typing a subject. With this, the customers can read the articles related to their issues instead of raising the ticket. This will reduce the ticket count substantially, and will make your work a lot easier. This feature also supports tags. For example, if a customer types one of your post tags, articles with that tag will be displayed as suggestions. For agents, if there is a frequent issue from multiple customers, agents may need to have a similar response. Hence in such a case, a blog article can be written and agents can view the auto-suggested article when they reply to the tickets. They can provide customers with article links related to the issue. This will help agents provide a better solution to their customers in no time. In this way, you can reduce the response time and keep your customer happy. Custom Attachment Folder Enable this setting to define a custom destination folder for all attachments. By default, the attachments are stored in the WP Content Slash Uploads folder. Make sure the location exists before using it for storing attachments. Maximum file size of attachments, MV specify the maximum file upload size in megabytes. Make sure to skip decimal values. The default value is 1 megabyte. Valid attachment extensions, select desired attachment extensions from the drop down list. You can see the supported formats. Create WordPress user, 
enable this setting to redirect your guest users to create a WordPress account when they successfully submit a ticket. This is a good way to persuade your guest users to sign up for an account on your website. Close tickets, with this option, you can allow users to close their existing support requests from the front end. When you enable this option, users can select tickets and close them by clicking the close ticket button. The advanced settings tab contain the mode to be selected for your WS desks like standard or light. Standard mode, this mode allows site owners to make use of all the features of WS desk. Light mode, with this mode, site owners can hide the following properties like Hide the ticket counts in the tickets dashboard. Disable quick view option in the tickets dashboard. Disable refreshing the tickets dashboard when the ticket tab is closed. Another setting to show an excerpt instead of the first sentence of the post while displaying auto suggestion. Then you can set how to display the tickets on your screen either as HTML or text.ws desk API. This setting will let you create WS desk tickets from any website not just WordPress websites. Once this option is enabled, a custom API key will be shown which you need to add it to the API integration section of your website. Default Deep Link, this feature helps you set a default view on your main ticket dashboard. As you know, on the main tickets dashboard, you can display all the tickets generated by your customers, and you can customize it based on different attributes that you select. WS Desk helps you make any of these attribute values to be the default view on your main tickets dashboard by adding their respective deep links. Debug Mode You can enable this option to place database collation logs and email logs in the PHP error log file. Powered by WS Desk tag On disabling this option, it will remove the powered by WS Desk tag from the front end and all support emails. Convert URLs to hyperlinks Enabling this option will convert all URLs in Ticket Conversation to hyperlinks. Click Save Changes to save the settings. Next is the Ticket Settings. It has 5 tabs. Ticket Fields is where your customer will be able to raise a ticket on the support form displayed on the front end of your website. The Ticket Fields section determines how you can add or edit input fields on a support form. These input fields include text box, password, selection list, radio button, checkbox, number, email, date, text area, multiple attachments, IP address, and Google reCAPTCHA although the plugin supports Google reCAPTCHA versions v2 and v3 although we recommend using v2. You can add, edit, remove, and configure the ticket fields. The following settings will help you. Click on add field button in the top right corner of the dashboard. Next, select the desired input field, more settings for that specific field is displayed. Enter a custom field title in the given text box. You can set the visibility level and specify desired restrictions on users and agents. Enter other details like placeholder text, field values, and description for the field. Editing a ticket field, click on the edit icon of the respective ticket field to modify or update it. You can edit default as well as custom ticket fields. Activating a ticket field, by default, all newly created ticket fields will be listed in the inactive fields column. Click on the activate icon button, to enable a ticket field. You can reorder the ticket fields using the hamburger icon in the ticket field. Based on this order, the ticket fields will appear on the support form. To delete a ticket field, click on the delete icon of the required ticket field. Remember, only the user created ticket field, S, can be deleted and not the default ones. Ticket status is used to define the status of a ticket. With the help of these statuses, an agent can track the progress of a ticket. Each ticket status is differentiated by a unique color. This section lets you add, edit, remove, and configure a ticket status. The following settings help you set up. Adding a ticket status, click on add status button to add a custom ticket status of your choice. Next, specify the desired status title, select a distinctive color to represent the ticket status and choose to use the ticket status for filtering. Editing and deleting a ticket status, 
click on edit icon or the delete icon respectively, to modify or delete a ticket status. Remember, only the user created ticket status can be deleted. Ticket tags are used to filter tickets, products, posts, and so on. These tags can be used for filtering the tickets and assigning it to specific agents. Let's see the available settings. Adding a ticket tag, click on add tag button in the top right corner of the dashboard to add a new ticket tag. Enter a suitable title, and select the product or related posts. Ticket views are used to categorize the tickets in a menu-like structure in the tickets dashboard. This section allows you to add, edit, remove, and configure ticket views. You can also provide conditional statements in accordance to the need. View display setting lets you configure the type of user that will be able to see the newly created ticket view. You can choose administrator, WS desk agents, and slash or WS desk supervisor. Editing and deleting a ticket view, click on edit icon or the delete icon respectively, to modify or delete a ticket view. But remember, only the user created ticket views can be deleted. The settings configured on this page affect the columns in the tickets dashboard. You can enable or disable the default fields or include ticket fields that you've created in the ticket fields dashboard. Whereas, ID, requester, subject, requested, assignee and feedback are default columns that can be activated or deactivated anytime. To enable a column, click the right tick icon of the field in the inactive column. To disable them, click the cancel icon of the respective field in the active column. Form settings. In here you can customize your form, the support form, which the customer uses to interact with you. In here as you can see, you can set the form fields, the URLs to which the form has to redirect and the button texts etc. Also, you can set the redirect URL upon certain actions on the support page. Triggers and automation are one of the unique features of WS Desk. A trigger is an action that occurs in response to a certain event. With the help of these triggers, you can automate certain responses in WS Desk. You can add a trigger here and provide matching conditions. Upon satisfying the condition, the trigger will initiate an action corresponding to it. Then comes the data management. WS Desk lets you restore, backup export the ticket data as a CSV file and also lets you archive the tickets. Next setting is to set up agent profiles. The agents dashboard contains settings for adding and managing agent profiles. You can also configure and manage agent roles, their user rights and associated ticket tags of each agent. You can also create an agent by clicking on add agent. Once an agent is created, then you can assign responsibilities. Also, you can easily manage agent profiles here. The tab also provides information regarding the agent performance over a time period. Reports can be generated as per your business need. Like date-wise, depending on the number of tickets solved, the agent satisfaction survey and much more. Emails become the most vital form of communication with clients. The email dashboard contains all the settings related to your emails. You can also set up Google OAuth and IMAP emails. You can block or restrict email address as well. You can create a respective format for replying to your customers. Google OAuth is used for Google authorization for accessing information from your Google account to your website without giving out the username and password. Information like emails from your Gmail account can be accessed easily with this process. To activate OAuth in WS Desk, you need two important information, Google API Client ID and Google API Client Secret. For more information check the description. IMAP is one of the popular email protocols used today for accessing emails from anywhere in the world via any number of devices. It is faster and can also be used offline. Enter IMAP server SSL URL, SSL port, email address and respective password details in the given, read the description. Email filter and block helps in filtering unwanted emails and blocking them. These settings help in adding or removing blocked email address, ES, and provides options to block sending and slash or receiving emails. 
You can block emails with respect to email ID, the subject line etc. The import dashboard helps in importing tickets from other support systems. Here if you are using Zendesk and want to ship to WS Desk, then it is just easy with one click. The next one is the ticket page. The tickets dashboard displays all the tickets generated by your customers. Based on the configuration set, the ticket dashboard will be displayed accordingly. Here you can view the tickets, upon clicking the tickets, you can see the detailed view of the conversation. You can manually add a ticket if you want to. With all the ticket agent, razor name, the ticket status and much more. Creating a template for canned responses allows you to instantly reply to your customers. If there are several tickets that require a similar reply, you can create a custom template of your own. This will save you time and reduces the effort to type the same message for several tickets. To create a reply template, move to the tickets dashboard and click the message icon placed on top of the dashboard. Using the codes you can create the template and then save it for later use. If you are working on one ticket, and you find another ticket, which is similar to the one you are working on, then you can merge them. You can also bulk edit the tickets, instantly. WooCommerce integration is yet another field that make WS Desk the best ticketing plugin to assist in e-commerce. WS Desk can easily integrate with the WooCommerce platform. This way your customers can directly raise tickets from the support form of your WooCommerce store. WS Desk makes use of a few aspects of your WooCommerce store for integration, which includes products, categories, tags, order details, and order prices. WS Desk allows you to integrate your WooCommerce products, categories and tags as ticket fields in the support form. With this feature, your customers can raise a ticket based on products, categories, and tags of your WooCommerce store. It will also be helpful in filtering the tickets. If WooCommerce is installed on your site, you should be able to see four additional choices, apart from the default ones, that can be used for WooCommerce integration. These choices include WooCommerce products WooCommerce order ID WooCommerce categories WooCommerce tags you can set a custom title for the ticket field and set its visibility and restrictions. Enter custom values for the products and slash or choose the auto fill products option to automatically fetch all the products from your WooCommerce store. You can add or delete the values based on your preference. The customers will be able to choose a WooCommerce product while creating the ticket through the support form. You can even generate WooCommerce related reports. WS Desk provides a factory reset option using which you can delete all WS Desk settings and ticket data. This option will drop all the related tables from the database as well, provided the user has the drop privilege for the database. You can find the factory reset option under the WS Desk subsidiary settings in the installed plugin list. You can add professional signatures to agents and supervisors using our WS Desk agent signature add-on. You can enable SMS notification for ticket raiser using our WS Desk SMS notification add-on. Advanced convenient features. There are a lot of handy features that WS Desk offers and that cater to a much more advanced customization level. Some of these features are deep links, custom redirection URLs, support for several attachment extensions, export to CSV file for analyzing the data, integration with contact forms and gravity forms, WPML compatibility and much more. If you are looking for a way to charge your customers for the consultation or support service you provide, pay for support add-on for WS Desk, Elix WordPress Help Desk plugin enables you to convert the purchases to credits and helps you to manage the credits allocated based on customer usage. Look for the link in the description. Thank you for watching. For more interesting plugins please visit www.lextensions.com Read more about our interesting plugins here. Please feel free to subscribe to our channels.